Hey everybody, Matty Flip here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install OBS Virtual Cam on your OBS uh, Studios software. Uh, there is a quick download file and installer for it. However, there's a few steps that you have to do after uh, you download the, the file uh, that I'm going to show you guys here today. So if you want to be able to guest uh, on you now, using your OBS software with your overlays and, uh, and, and effects and everything, uh, then today you're going to learn how to do that. Uh, first, you're going to go to the obsproject.com uh, website to their forums and resources, and they actually have a, uh, a page where you can download the plugin. Uh, what this is going to do is download a, uh, an executable file, which is just a, uh, an installer, a simple installer file. You're going to click on that file once it downloads. Uh, I'm also going to put a link for this, uh, this download for this website you're looking at right now in the description of this video. Uh, below so it'll be easy for you guys to find it um, once you download it you're gonna click on it and open up the executable file you will see something that looks like this for the setup uh, this is a license agreement you're gonna click I accept it next then you're going to choose where you want to install the file now by default it, it has the same name as the OBS uh, folder um, if you uh, already have OBS installed so what you want to do is change where you're going to uh, install this file put it somewhere where you're going to remember it because you need to open this folder here when you're done uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on my e-drive here um, I have plenty of space on it. So and, it, and it'll be easy for me to find if I just install it there So I'm going to go click uh, click on that that uh, that drive then hit OK um, You guys may choose a different location save it in your downloads folder or your desktop wherever it's going to be easy for you to find you can delete this folder once we're done uh, transferring the files or copying the files to the actual OBS uh, folder for the program. Um, so then you're going to hit next. You're going to install for one camera only. You don't need four uh, cameras unless you have a multi-camera setup and you plan on switching back and forth between the cameras uh, for some reason. Uh, if you're running a show or something like that uh, and you need that uh, while you're guesting on you now for some reason or you need it for a virtual camera, um, if you're trying to record, it helps as well. Uh, so then you're going to click next once you choose your option here most people are only going to choose one virtual camera install once you click uh, once you get to the next page click install it's going to install it in the location that you chose uh, so it says um, DL, uh, DLL install in OBS virtual source dot DLL that's the file that we need um, so then we're going to click OK OK click finish now we're going to go to that folder that we uh, that we we installed that in. So see now it is in the folder or in the in the drive that I installed it on. You're going to click double click on the OBS Studio folder, and it's going to give you a bunch of options uh, that are going to look similar to your OBS folder that we're going to open up over here. Open up a second window. Uh, you can hit Control N, and it'll open up the same window. Uh, Control N does the same thing. Uh, we're going to go to the C drive. Um, which is where I have it installed go to your program files Then you're gonna go to the OBS studio. It looks just like the folder that we we just installed or downloaded um, You're gonna open that up and you're gonna it's gonna look almost identical um, You know here just keep in mind. This is the one that we're taking the files from this is the one We're moving the files to so we're gonna start at the top and move down uh, go to bin uh, choose which uh, type of operating system. If you have a 32-bit operating system, then you're going to need to go to 32-bit. Uh, most people are probably going to have a 64-bit operating system, so click on 64. And what we need is these three files. I believe this one and this one are already in the correct folder. So if we double-click on bin and go to 64-bit, um, these files, if I go like this and just select these two, it'll tell me that they already exist in here. It already exists, so we're not going to do anything with that. I'm just going to, to close out of that. You don't want to mess with those files. So just take this middle file, the obs-virtualsource.dll file, and you're going to click and drag it into this 64-bit folder. Make sure you don't put it in one of the folders up top here. Just drag it down here where all the other files are. It'll ask you, uh, I, already, I already have it in there. Uh, it'll ask you for administrative rights. You're going to click yes and let it copy that file over to that folder. Um, like I said, I've already installed virtual camera on my computer 
and I can't do it while I'm running OBS. Um, so as you can see, this the, the virtual source file is right here actually. Uh, and I, I did that in September. So I've had this for a while. Uh, so then we're gonna go back to the OBS Studio folder over here and here as well. We're gonna go down to the next one and click on data. Uh, double click on data, you have OBS plugins. If the folders match, you're gonna open them up. OBS plugins, so now I already have a virtual output folder here, so we're not gonna go any further on this side, and we're going to take this, and we're going to drag and drop it here. Like I said, it already exists here. It's gonna ask you for administrative rights. You're gonna hit continue. Uh, but this this folder already exists and I'm not going to overwrite it because I'm running OBS right now So I'm going to cancel this um, You are going to continue and transfer that file over to the the OBS plugins folder on your C drive where OBS is installed We're going to go back to the OBS studio folder one more time go to where it says plugins plugins 64 bit 64 bit now we have this OBS virtual output DLL file. We're gonna drag and drop this over here on the right side where all these other files are. Uh, and like I said, this is already installed on my computer. So it's giving me this, this option. Uh, you will get uh, another one of those, those uh, uh, notifications that's asking for administrative um, um, rights or administrative privileges to transfer this uh, file over to the the other folder you're gonna click continue and and let it copy that file over once you're done with all three of these um, you no longer need this folder uh, unless you plan on uninstalling it um, so you can just keep it around hide it somewhere where it's not gonna bother you it doesn't take up too much space but these are like your backup files in case you ever uninstall this again um, so once you're done with that you're gonna close out of both of these you can close out of OBS Studio and reopen it. And then uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a, a, uh, an inception effect here when I drag this over here, but you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, when I drag um, OBS over here, you will now have an option under Tools that says Virtual Camera. You will click on Virtual Camera. You'll get a second window that pops up like this, uh, where it gives you options to auto start if you want to horizontally flip it, aspect ratio, uh, and what the target camera is going to be. So you want the target camera to be OBS camera. And then this is going to be automatically set to three. You're going to want to set it down to zero and then hit start. Right? That's going to start your virtual camera source. Uh, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how you can broadcast without using the OBS option on you now. Uh, so let me drag this back over here. Um, I now should be able to uh, um, broadcast on you now without having to use my stream key. Uh, so we're gonna minimize this. We're gonna bring up you now here. This is another important step as well. What you need to do if you're using Google Chrome uh, or whatever browser you're on, go up to the top right hand corner and go to the settings. Um, so up in the top right hand corner, there's three little dots, go down to the, almost the very bottom, click on settings. It's going to open up a settings tab. Actually, yeah, let's just do this settings. It's going to open up something like this. All you're going to do is type in camera or start typing in camera. Uh, the first couple things that are going to pop up here is your clear browsing data. You're going to go to site settings. It should be the second option. Click site settings, and then you'll see it highlighted in yellow still camera click on camera and make this set to instead of your default which my default would be the USB video device here uh, I also have snap camera installed on my computer I'm not using it right now uh, but the the virtual camera we just installed is this virtual uh, this OBS virtual camera you want to set this as your default camera on your browser uh, and, and, and you'll see why here in just a moment um, so set that to your default camera, uh, close out of that. You're going to refresh you now. It's going to give you a notification that you changed the settings. You're just going to click the refresh button. Uh, and now you're back on the home page on you now. Click go live. You're going to choose a category. Obviously we're, we're just setting up the camera still. So ignore setting up uh, your broadcast title. Don't worry about the thumbnail. Uh, now we're, we're on this screen. I don't want to use my my uh, my stream key in order to uh, stream, uh, for, for lack of a better term. Um, I want to be able to use my virtual camera source. So I'm going to go back, and instead of choosing the OBS game slash pro setup, we're going to choose the camera no setup. 
trust me on this one guys choose this option click whatever one you, whatever category you want to choose uh then click next go to yeah skip over this click next click next now look we have a blank screen here and and this is the reason for this is because you now hasn't detected that we're using a virtual camera yet it still thinks that um it, it's going to use the uh the logitech camera that i have so what i have to do is click on advanced settings here and then we have to go choose this new option that we have, this OBS virtual camera under um, under your cameras down here. So if I choose this, I should get some image. Oh look, I have my desktop on you now. Um, make sure you have the, the right audio source chosen uh, and now you can go live without using your stream key, uh, using OBS. This is, is huge because it allows you to be able to go into someone's stream uh, let's see if I can find anybody that's on right now. Uh, Professor Dre probably won't guess me, but um, let's see. Uh, can we get anybody to guess me? James will. James, let's let's uh, let's get our. Um, we're gonna turn down that audio. You guys can probably hear it. Um, we're gonna change that to a different audio source. So bear with me. Uh, just a moment. Add an audio source on OBS. Up. going to switch our audio sources in case you guys did not know you can go into change your audio sources if you have a windows computer uh click on open sound settings i'm going to make another video about this as well but you're going to click on open sound settings uh go down to advanced uh volume and device preferences and then you can change uh which audio source you want you which apps to go to so right now i have it going to my speakers uh, I don't want it going to my speakers, so I'm going to go to my Yeti headphones uh, for my mic right here, and then I'll be able to hear James and his buddy, whoever he's playing with over there, in my headphones. And so will you. So now you, now you guys can hear him. I'm going to see if he'll guest me right now, to, just to show you guys that I'm able to use my, um, my OBS setup with... Uh, um, while guesting on you now, so here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click my raise my hand. And James, yeah. oh, he's yeah. using, he's using Luca's app. Ah, you're great, man. I love it. Uh, so, um, is he bringing me up? No, is it not working? I might need to refresh. Oh, there it is. Yo! Hey, what's up, bro? So I'm making a, I'm actually making a video right now, and I'm, I'm on how to set up a virtual camera um, and guest using OBS. Uh, and I was just doing this as a test, so you're gonna be in my video. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so the, yeah, yeah. So I was just, uh, I was making a video on how to set up a virtual camera source so that you can guest using your overlays and stuff in OBS, and it worked. So uh, <laughs> appreciate you, man. Appreciate you bringing me up. <laughs> What, like OBS like plugins? Yeah, yeah. So in in order to install a plugin on OBS, when you download it, you have to actually move the files over to the the folders. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And a lot right, of people totally. a lot of people don't know that, so that's why yeah, I'm making I'm making this video. Me. Yeah, that's why I'm making this video. He gave me the link, but I I, I, I think I lost it. But well, I'm gonna I, I'm I'm posting exactly this. Sure which one to click on? I wasn't exactly sure. I'm posting this video on uh, on on uh, YouTube, and I'll I'll post the link in the Discord oh, cool. and send it to you. To you. Uh, yeah, I just I just start. This is gonna be the first video on my channel. So. Oh hell yeah! Dude, yeah, people, someone subscribe to me on YouTube, and I don't even have any videos. Yeah, dude. I I, mean, I have a I have another channel with like a, I have one video on there with a bunch of like a, over 150,000 views or something like that. Of it was like oh, me wow. getting harassed by the Long Beach Police Department. But, all right, man. I'll let, I'll let you get back to your game. I'm gonna finish up this video real quick, uh, and then I, I might hop on and play some. Might play some with you before I head to work. Oh shit, no! I gotta, right, so I gotta leave yeah, to work. Yeah, I'll be on for a couple. I'll be on for a little bit longer. All right, brother. I'll catch you soon, man. All right, yeah. Thanks for guessing, bro. Peace. Peace, bro. Everybody, go fan up, my dude, Matt.
<laughs> the boy James. Uh, uh, yeah, it'll be in the video. It'll be in the video. He's really, he's really good at that OBS stuff. But if you guys have any questions, Alright, yeah, thanks for guessing, bro. Peace. Peace, bro. Capture that moment. Yeah. All right, back off of here. Uh, so that's how you set up OBS Virtual Cam on, um, you know, with your with your OBS Studio setup. If you guys have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email, leave it in the comments. Uh, I appreciate you coming by and checking it out, and I hope y'all have a wonderful day.